Hello, I'm in chapter 6, section 4. We are factoring polynomials. I'm doing the guided practice problems on page 433. If you're looking at the PDF uh, electronically, it's page 32 then. And we're going to do problems 1, 2, and 3. For these problems, we're going to determine if the binomial that we're given is a factor. How do we do it? We divide. We'll probably use synthetic division. Um, we'll try to use synthetic division. If that doesn't work, then we'll use long division. All right. If I get a remainder, if I do get a remainder, then that means it's not a factor. But if I do not get a remainder, or if the remainder is zero, those mean the same thing, then it, is a, it will be a factor. All right, so we're going to do synthetic division. I get x plus 1. That means I'm going to be using negative 1. Because remember, x plus 1 equals 0, so x equals negative 1. Is this set up the way I want it? 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yes, it's in order, and it's not missing any terms. So I have 2, 2, negative 1, negative 5, negative 4. 0. I'm going to go quick because you've already seen synthetic division. 2 plus 0 is 2. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. Negative 1 times 0 is 0. Negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. I'll put the plus sign just because I said positive. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. And negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. And this is what I've been waiting for, no pun intended. Negative 4 plus 4 equals 0, which is m my remainder. So I don't, have, I don't have any extra, okay? There's no more left over. The remainder is 0, which is just another way of saying you don't have a remainder. Cool. So the answer is yes. x plus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. And there's a little bit more we can do with this, okay? And I'm only going to do this this time. That means if I factored it, I get x plus 1 times 2x to the third power. I had to double check there's a 2 there. Plus 0x squared, subtract x, subtract 4. And if I could, I could try to factor this one and see if that's going to, going to do anything. And that will... If I can keep factoring, I can find all of the zeros of this one. One of the zeros is negative 1. Maybe I can find all the zeros. All right. A little bit of a hint for, for further math going on there. All right. So is x minus 2 a, fa a factor of this one? So I got my minus 2, so I'm going to put my 2 here. And remember, that means x subtract 2 equals 0, so x equals 2. That's, that's my 0. I've got x to the third, x to the second. I do not have any x to the first power, so I have to remember to put, put that in. 5, 1, 0, x, negative 7. 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10. 1 plus 10 is 11, 2 times 11 is 22, 0 plus 22 is 22, and 2 times 22 is 44. Finally, 44 plus negative 7 is 35. I have a remainder of 35. So no, x minus 2 is not a factor of that polynomial. So again, if I get a remainder that's not 0, it's not a factor. If my remainder is 0, which means no remainder, then it is a factor. Let's do one more. All right, now what I do about this one? I said if I've got something multiplied in front of the x instead of the hidden one, I can't use synthetic division. But I did also say, you can think about it a little bit. If I have a, if I factor this out, and I won't make the mistake again, this is x subtract two. And over here, if I've got a common factor of two, a GCF of two, then those twos are the same two. Okay, so I can ignore them. And yes, actually I do. This is two times x to the fifth, Subtract 2x to the 4th plus x to the 2nd. Subtract x, subtract 2. I just factor out a 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 from all that. 
So that two, that two, that two was obvious. That's two times two and two times two, so that's where I got the leftover ones. These two twos, see what I did there, are the same. So I can ignore them. So what this is asking now is, is x minus two a factor of what I have left? I already factored out a two and I found it. Now is x minus two a factor of what's left? So five, four, I don't have any x to the three, I have to remember that, two, one. One, x to the fifth, negative two, x to the fourth, zero, x to the third power, one, x to the second power, negative one, x, and negative two. Over here, I'm gonna use two. We'll go quick with the synthetic division. One, two, zero, 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 one, two, one, two, zero. Pause that and rewind it if, if it went too fast for you. No remainder? So the answer is yes. And if x minus two is a factor of what I had left here, then 2x minus 4 would have to be a factor of that one because the 2 is also included in that. All right, we will see you in the next video where we're going to factor by grouping.